In this question, three shafts and four gears are used to form a gear train, which will transmit 7.5 kilowatt from the motor at A to a machine tool at F. In this figure, the F point is represented as machine tool and the point A is represented as motor. The motor will transmit 7.5 kilowatt power and the machine will consume 7.5 kilowatt power. Bearings for the shafts are omitted from the sketch and knowing that the frequency of the motor is 30 Hz. In this question, the frequency of motor is given as 30 Hz. Determine the magnitude of the couple that is applied to shaft AB, CD and EF. In this question, we have to find the couple at shaft AB, the couple at shaft CD and the couple at shaft EF. Tau AB, Tau CD and Tau EF. So in this question, there are three shafts, shaft, shaft EF, shaft CD and shaft AB. And there are four gears, gear E, gear C, gear B and gear D. The radius of the gear D and B is 75 mm. So it will change into meter. So this is 0.075 meter. And now the radius of the gear, gear C and E is 180 mm. So this is equal to 0 0.180 meter. In this question, we have to given a frequency of the motor, which is 30 Hertz. And this motor will connect it to the shaft AB. So the frequency of shaft AB is equal to the frequency of the motor. So the angular velocity of shaft AB is equal to 2 pi frequency. Frequency of AB is equal to frequency of motor. So this is 2 pi into 30 is equal to 60 pi radian per seconds. So this is the angular velocity of shaft AB. Now uh, the gear B is attached to gear C. It means for gear B and C both are attached. It means the velocity, velocity of gear B is equal to velocity of gear C. So the linear velocity is represented as omega into r. So the angular velocity, the gear B is attached to uh, shaft AB. So this is omega AB and the radius of gear B is equal to and the gear C is attached to shaft CD. So this is the angular velocity of shaft CD and this is the radius of gear C. So the angular velocity of AB shaft is 60 pi. Radius of gear B is 75 mm change into meters. So this is 0 0.075 is equal to omega CD and the radius of gear C is 0 0.180. You can solve this equation and uh, omega CD is equal to 25 pi radian per second. So this is the angular velocity of shaft CD. Now for gear D and E. Gear D and E are attached. So it means the velocity of gear D is equal to velocity of gear E. And the gear D is attached to shaft CD. So the, this is the angular velocity of shaft CD. Radius of gear D is equal to angular velocity of shaft, shaft EF. Because gear E is attached to shaft EF. So this is the radius of shaft E. Omega CD is equal to 25 pi. And the radius of gear D is 75 mm. So this is 0 0.075 is equal to omega EF radius of gear E is 180 mm. So this is 0 0.180. Now you can solve this equation. So the angular velocity of shaft EF is equal to 10.464167 pi radian per seconds. Now in this question, we have to find the couple, couple of shaft AB. And the power is given as 7.5 kilowatts. So the power is equal to tau omega and tau is couple. So the expression of couple is equal to power divided by angular velocity. Okay, for shaft, for shaft AB, 
couple of shaft AB is equal to power is 7.5 kilowatts. So this is 7500 divided by omega for uh, shaft AB. The angular velocity is 60 pi. So this is 60 pi and you have to solve divide 7500 divided by 60 pi is equal to 39.8 Newton meter for shaft for shaft CD for the couple of the shaft CD is equal to 7500 and the angular velocity of CD is equal to 25 pi and this becomes 95.5 Newton meter for shaft EF the couple of shaft EF is equal to 7500 divided by angular velocity of shaft EF is 10.4167 pi and this becomes 299 Newton meter.